I was going to join FFCC <laughs> more than 24 years ago. Four years, almost a quarter of a century. So I spent the best time of my life serving the association, serving the federation, and I'm happy that at long last I was given the opportunity to lead the federation. My name is Henry Lim Bon Leong Lin Yi Ching. I'm the newly elected president of the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Incorporated, and this is my profile. FFCCCI is really one of the biggest business federation in the Philippines now. We have more than 170 organizations under our umbrella. We also play a very important role during disasters. We already donated more than 5,600 school buildings. Every day there are more than 700,000 students studying inside the classrooms built by the federation. Well, during that time, I was in my early 40s. I was recruited by one of the, the old guards of the Federation. Since at that time, they need fresh blood to join them. I can really give a strong support for whatever is the Federation's welfare. Not knowing that once you enter the Federation, it's really very difficult to get out already. So in order for you to enter the federations, you should be a representative of any one of the organizations. And every two years, we have a convention. You have to be a representative of that convention. And each organization has a maximum of only around 14 representatives. A minimum of two, a maximum of 14. So every year, there are around 800 delegates joining the convention. And you know, out of these 800, we elect around, including the provinces, around 300 plus. And out of these 300 plus, we elect, you know, 47 board members. No? And out of these 47 board members, we elect the president and the vice president. When I was recruited into the Federation, I was given already a post of Vice Chairman Welfare Committee. And then our Welfare Committee, we went over around 450 school buildings every year. The one committee that I joined or become the head of that committee for many years was the External Affairs Committee. The External Affairs Committee deals with, of course, peace and order. At that time, it deals with labor, it deals with access and all these things. It's a very hectic committee and I was happy that I'm a chairman of the committee for many, many years. It's no open secret that there are two factions competing for the presidency and I think it's a healthy exercise also. At least in the Federation, everybody is so professional, there's no much slugging. Everybody has to try to win, of course, the confidence of all the other members. But then, luckily, maybe people thought that I've been the Federation longer than the other party. Maybe they think that I am more qualified. I'm happy that at least I won the election fairly, squarely, and I'm happy. At this point in time, I think it's healing time already. We want to heal the Federation. So we want to make sure that everybody will be working harmoniously towards a unification of the Federation. And hopefully I can finish what I'm planning to do and I can leave a good legacy for others to follow. The Federation has always been saying that, you know, there are three treasures now, of course, the Federation. The Barrier School Project, the Relief Operations, and also the Volunteer Fire Brigade. But I think we should outgrow ourselves on these three treasures already. Maybe we can create two more treasures to make the scope wider. FFCCCII, no doubt, is one of the biggest business organizations in the country. And, you know, the success does not come easy. Over the last more than 60 years, there have been a lot of good leaders. And that's always been looked upon as an association that can really protect the small businessmen. You have so many big names in the federations, from Ralph Dukla, Ronnie Roshua, up to Lucia Tan. All of them must live a legacy. The last election was already a legacy by itself already. But people will think that you cannot win the election, but with determination, I'm happy that right now we also have a lot of younger, fresh faces coming in. We have 12 or 14 from Anbil who join us. Those are young second, third generations, the leaders of the federation. And all of these were really at fresh blood and become a very potent force for the federation to really move up.
So my promise is that, of course, after the election, there should be a healing process. I'm happy that our Chairman Emeritus, uh, Lu Shotan, has uh, agreed that, uh, that the Federation should stand uh, united and he has promised to support the future endeavors of the Federation. And I would like also, of course, to do healing process also among those who are competing for the presidency. And I hope that this healing process will be able to uh, at least make the Federations even, uh, even stronger. My name is Henry Lim Bon Leong, Yun Yi Ching. I'm the newly elected president of the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Incorporated, and this is my profile.